I'm supposed to disappear. And if I disappear totally, I've done it right. I made that steam for the locomotive. Uh, we've got to uh, answer the phone, would you? Also up there, there's a metal plate, and that thing is either a uh, trolley car, or it's a fire alarm. We also have that old Ooga horn and, and the ice truck. The start was tactile feel of the instrument. You watch the film and it has certain things going on and you begin to realize that you want to listen to a particular theme or a particular way of doing it, a striking or a pleasant or a what, because all of those things are there, the flavors. And so they come to you. I'm aware of the audience more. <laughs> because I'm not glued to music sitting in front of me. So it has been a part of my life, all my life, to be music. Eating, drinking, sleeping, and music. You know, they all go together for your health and for your world. And I played trumpet when I was in school. I wasted about 15 years of pucker on a trumpet. But when you're playing a single instrument, single voice, in an orchestra, you're part of a team part of the music scene itself, and an important part, and that's missing here. You're the whole thing. You are the conductor, and the composer, and the whole orchestra, all at the same time. So you told me that you took piano lessons. That's true, started on piano. Every kid does that. My mother was a hairdresser all her life, and she knew how to wield a comb and I was forced to practice at home because I'd just as soon be out in the street with a ball and all my friends. So it's up to that wicked mother who I will revere to the dying day of my life who got me going on piano. People ask me, what was your favorite piece of music? And I always respond to them, what was your favorite breath? And how many films have you done? How many breaths have you taken? I haven't the foggiest. After 25 years, it's very hard to count. I don't have any stage fright. And the reason for that is I know that I am not the one that's doing it all and I depend on the Spirit's inspiration so strongly. I go back in the back here where there's a swimming pool before every performance and pour my heart out because I know I'm just a tool. And that tool has to be guided. This audience has its character. The one next is its character. The one after that, its character. And their response patterns are all different the conversation becomes different. Now I have to listen for the spirit, not for them totally. Now, if we have a western and there's a cattle drive,
times that I have been out of tune with the Spirit, and out, I've been on my own, that I have almost failed, not totally, but it just turned awful. It, it didn't come across right to anyone. What I will say about this man, he's the humblest person I know. He's got the greatest talent, but he never toots his own horn. He always gives due justice to where it comes from, and that's his heavenly father.